Fit and Ten Nation, it is day 66, uh, officially now five days to go, right? We've got today and then we've got another four days up to Saturday. So five days to go. Uh, I can't promise you that you'll make mega massive change in the next five days, but every day does count. And uh, of course, you know, you can still see some incremental change in the next five days. So do not give up and keep sprinting towards the end. Remember every day, this whole challenge, all the progress that you made is an accumulation of the days, right? So every day counts. So you've got to keep the pedal on the gas. And by, by that, I mean staying consistent and following your numbers, getting in all your workouts, of course. All right. Uh, oh, reminder, the scan link is up, www.calendly.com forward slash train on main. Book your scan ASAP. They're happening this Saturday and Sunday, and don't forget that we're doing after photos. So please try to wear the same attire as you did for your before photos. Okay. This person writes five things they're thankful for. Number one, time and the freedom to make changes in my life. Number two, the kindness and assistance of others in my life including our wonderful trainers. Thank you. The wonderful humans that I've got my, that have got my back throughout hard times. The physical abilities that I do have and do is in large, uh, excuse me, is in capitals. That's right. Despite trying to make things better right now, I'm grateful things are not worse. I like I like the way you're thinking. Absolutely. That there is always, this is number five, that there is always alternate life paths. Nothing is set. And I am never truly stuck. That's right. Very true. And, uh, and nothing is forever, right? Everything, pretty much everything is just temporary. With maybe the exception of death. Actually, we don't even know what happens when we die. So I have a different take on it, but uh on death that is but uh i don't really think it means much because uh what do i know <laughs> i don't really know too much about what happens to us after we die okay this person writes uh this person writes they wrote actually they typed of course i have never gotten abs and since i've made it this far I want to work towards getting abs. Would doing leg drops daily, three times 10, help me to achieve that? All right, so let's just back away from the leg drops because that's just one type of abdominal exercise you can do. Working your abdominals on a regular basis will help. Yes, I wouldn't do it every day. Every second day you could probably do. That would be fine. With this person, I know that this is sort of a last place for them to lose. So unfortunately for, for this person, and this is the case for actually, you know, many people, uh, the stomach is the, is the last place to go. So, um, you know, you just have to get really, really lean. Doing three sets of 10 every day. Yeah, I wouldn't suggest that. Although you could do, you could do three sets of 10, maybe every second day. And I would throw in some other abdominal exercises and I would do a combination of stuff. Because remember, if you hypertrophy the abs, if you develop the abs, if you develop the musculature of the abdominal area, you will inevitably create uh, a greater ratio of muscle to fat. Right, and so therefore you are lowering the body fat percentage in that area. Okay, you're not burning fat in that area, but you are develop you are developing the musculature there. And so if we have a little more muscle there, we're going to be able to see it. Okay, just like any other body part that you work. So, I would suggest looking at some of the workouts that we've sent out because there are videos in there that show you different abdominal movements. If you do things like planks and stuff like that, those are not really going to develop the musculature of your abdominals. But if you do things along the lines of, you know, crunches or leg raises or Russian twists or these types of things, these are going to, to develop more of those superficial muscles on the stomach, okay? 
Five minutes. Okay, one more question. Um, sure, let's do it. Energy drinks, yay or nay? Usually, usually are sweetened with sucralose. Yeah, or aspartame. Or maybe something else. Which you say to stay away from. Yeah, usually these usually artificial sweeteners are not good for the... Uh, they're, they're not good for the bacteria in our intestinal tract. But these energy drinks also contain caffeine, which claim to enhance performance. So caffeine, 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 well, this is coffee, which contains caffeine. Caffeine is one of the most studied ergogenic aids. That is, it does improve performance. Temporarily, it improves performance. It is a, it is a stimulant to the nervous system. So this is gonna help your, your performance. This is not, I wouldn't take caffeine as an ergogenic aid for a long race, like a, like a marathon or something, definitely not. But for the gym, absolutely. That's one of my excuses to allow myself some coffee every day. Not too much though. So absolutely. Um, sorry, I didn't answer your question. You're talking about energy drinks. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, they're, they're sort of an expensive... I mean, you know, I, I understand that you might get some enjoyment out of having them, but they are an expensive version of caffeine. I mean, it's cheaper to have a cup of coffee, homemade cup of coffee. And you can also, you can to some, to some degree, you can control the amount of caffeine that you get by making your own coffee. So that's, that would be my suggestion. Also coffee's got polyphenols and stuff in there, which, you know, is supposed to be anti, anti-cancerous, right? So, um, yeah, I mean, for what it's worth, the energy drinks typically have B vitamins, although I don't really know how bioavailable they are, but let's assume they are. So that's a good thing. They've got taurine in there, which is good. And um, they might have a couple of other things in there. Ginseng is common, another common one. I think that's found in Red Bull. And uh, of course, caffeine. Uh, so uh, there might be some L-tyrosine in there as well that will help to uh, wake you up, keep you more alert. So they're definitely not bad to have and they will definitely help your performance, all right? They're, they're sort of like a poor man's, almost a poor man's pre-workout. So um, if you're familiar with what a pre-workout is, pre-workout is basically just think of it as a supplement that's designed with a bunch, it's a supplement that's designed to improve or uh, not improve, well, I guess you could use the word improve, to um, just to sort of upscale a person's experience while they are training in the gym specifically. Okay, um, that's eight minutes, that's way too long. Let's get the message of the day. <clears throat> You're as happy as you allow yourself to be. No one is in control excuse me, no one else is in control of how you view the world and your life. Your happiness is up to you. This is just a reminder to you. It's a good reminder for me too, which I have no good reason to be unhappy, but sometimes we just find ourselves unhappy. Uh, I do sometimes. And um, so we, this is up to us, right? This is really just a state of mind. As hard as this is, this is just a state of mind. And if you ever want to, well, I don't know if this will give you full appreciation, but and I won't go down too many rabbit holes here, but just, you know, talk to Martina about that because she comes from a country that's very, very poor, Cameroon in West Africa. Uh, it sits basically right on the equator and it's a very, very poor country. Like, I mean, very, very poor. I mean, like people live in like tin shacks and maybe are lucky if they own a pair of shoes in their life. So, so poor people that clean their clothes in the gutters in the street. Okay, not the gutters, in the um, in the drains in the street. But they're very happy people. They are super, super happy. Martina says on, on whole they're happier people than, than what she sees here, which is kind of crazy, right? So again, it's a state of mind. So I'll read it again. You're as happy as you allow yourself to be. No one else is in control of how you view the world and your life. Your happiness is up to you. 
So let's all just choose to be happy, right? Just choose to be happy, view everything, or excuse me, recognize, acknowledge all the wonderful things that we have and try to put our first world problems aside, right? Because that's, after all, most of our problems, not all, I know that for sure, but most of our problems are just first world problems. Positive energy, positive vibes, believe in yourself and for the love of God, give some gratitude. And I'll talk to you all tomorrow, four days to go, five days to go, four and a half days to go.